Hi everyone, I'm coming back today with uh, another tip on the orchestrator since it's my new toy. In this case, I have 21 gigs of RAM uh, used by Opus. I have created on purpose this track with 8 instances of uh, orchestrator with 16 channels in each instance, which makes a lot of tracks and make a lot of RAM. So the good news, as you know, is that you just have to purge everything and then immediately you have a very low amount of used RAM. The problem is I noticed that when you save the track and you come back the next day when loading up the track it will attempt to load all the samples and, and in this case it's more than 20 gigs and uh, a few crashes occurred because if for instance I have already a few programs running in the background then it's not gonna be enough memory even if I have 32 gigs which is decent it won't work and Cubase will crash so I found uh, a way around and in the meantime I've submitted the case to east-west support and I do hope that they, they will find a, a fix for that because it's really annoying so the fix is very easy before you save your track, you just select your orchestrators and in Cubase, I don't know how it works in other DOS, you just disable the tracks. When the tracks are disabled, as you can see, there is no more RAM, no more anything. And then you save your track. Very important, you leave Cubase because if uh, you stay on the same session in Cubase and you try to load up uh, the track again, Opus won't work. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Let's say we are day two. I'm coming back to my track. I load up Cubase. Since basically all my tracks are empty, it loads up very, uh, very quickly. And now uh, it's just about picking my tracks again and I will click enable track and we here we are at that point since uh, all samples have been loaded maybe it's more reasonable to purge all instances we get back to uh, comfortable numbers and that's it so to wrap up before you save your track you disable the tracks and when uh, launching Cubase again because you have to relaunch Cubase uh, you can't do that in the same session as I said then you just enable your tracks I'm not very proud of that it's not ideal it's pain in the neck because you will lose uh, maybe 30 seconds before saving and 30 seconds uh, after loading but while east-west people are working on a, a fix for that uh, it's the best way I found to keep working with the orchestrator and avoiding uh, crashes uh, when loading up patches. I do hope uh, this was helpful. I wish you a pleasant day and I see you around.